Ciao guys! Hello! So we just had some lunch in uh, yes. the park. We uh, are in uh, Fontanellato. Okay, so everyone's having lunch. Francesca and the mum's there. David is all the way across the park. And me. I'm right here. So what have we got then? So the mum did a um, rice salad. Carrots, sweet corn, olives, peas, some peppers, uh, artichokes, mushrooms. Plenty of things really, quite good. A hard choice. <laughs> Fruit or dessert? Tiramisu. <laughs> yeah, I go for it. <laughs> a big spoonful. <laughs> Who's bringing tiramisu for a pack lunch? No, We're really spoiled here. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what we're doing now, this afternoon, we're going to be heading to the largest labyrinth in the world. Oh so we'll be heading there, it's only three kilometers away from Fontanellato and it's called Labirinto della Masone. just made it now at the labyrinth so basically all these bushes you would think bushes are all bamboo as well as and well. all the labyrinth is completely made out of bamboo plants and the range from 15 centimeters height to 30 meters height yeah, and yeah crazy. apparently they grow really really well here and as well there are like 200,000 different plants different species of bamboo from all around I'm very curious to see what the labyrinth yeah. is going to look like. So let's go. Um. part right to the labyrinth yeah. and then all the bamboo plants so you can't really quite see the path which is good because we want to try and find the way out like searching for it so which is really good but yeah so we see I think she said like the lady at the entrance the whole path is gonna be around three kilometers long it takes about 45 to 50 minutes to complete so we see how long it's gonna take us to find a way out. Behind my house in Milan, there is a sort of little garden surrounded by high walls. At first, I didn't know what to do with it. But one day, a kind and knowledgeable Japanese gardener suggested that I plant a small bamboo forest there. I went to Provence to buy the little bamboo I needed, and it was there that I discovered the bambooserie d'Andus. It is a nursery with around 200 different species of bamboo and is the largest plantation in Europe. The bamboo instantly grew well in my little garden in Milan. I was fast falling under the spell of the plant. I went back to the bambooserie, but this time I bought far more. I had decided to plant a bamboo garden on the land surrounding my country house in Fontanellato. Again, the experiment proved to be a success. Until then, there had been no link between the bamboo and the labyrinth. But one day, inspiration struck. It was a plant which provided the perfect material for building it. 
And yeah, he wanted this to be a place where people could lose themselves mm. in, they could fantasize, they Daydream, could walk, yeah. and uh, just immerse themselves in nature. Follow the uh, navigator. <laughs> navigator mamma. Ci fai mamma. un po' da guida, mamma. Yeah. Ci fai da guida. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering if there's gonna be like like dead ends as well, so that we'll have to go back on ourselves, or in any case, we're it's just, just gonna an be easy up and down, yeah. uh, forward and any any path we choose in the end, it's gonna take us to the uh, to the exit. So that's what I'm wondering. Are we gonna find any dead ends? Who knows? people we're meeting here are just like very eager to get on the way out and the fastest they can we want I mean James Davide you also want to kind of get lost a bit experiencing the the path mom wants to get to the fastest way out she's not good Danke. we want to kind of experience it but most people say yeah that path is close yeah that's no, faster it, that's you know Italians <laughs> they're they're being patient yeah. So Mama, Mama gave given up. She had enough, <laughs> so she rushed to the exit. Um, we're, we're all cool, but there's no water. She took all the water, took all the supplies, <laughs> took all the food, freshments, everything. So everything is in a bag now. So now so. we're parched. Now we really want to leave because we're getting thirsty. So uh, yeah, but we're not gonna give in to it. We can hold out. We're young, we're fit, and, and we can yes, do it. And yes, we're gonna get to the very end of the library. Yeah, in good in good speed. No rush, no rush, and then enjoy our moments here. So. Oh, there she is. <laughs> oh, <Nella. laughs> Mom, Mom. James, they come back. The great come back. back. The great come back. <laughs> the great come back. <laughs> I think she couldn't find the exit, mm. so she thought, well, I might as well. <laughs> oh, there she is. Che ci fai? Non puoi uscire adesso. Vedi, lei è tutto chiuso. E devi finire da lì fare fino alla fine. She's gonna have to do it now. Get to the exit with us. And she's leading the way. She is leading the way now. <laughs> she went from being a surrenderer, right, to the yeah, library, yeah. to being a leader. Oh, look at her, making friends as well. <laughs> making friends. Look at speed. <laughs> speed of freedom. <laughs> ah. Okay, we'll be, we'll be following her. Dai, qua non ci siamo mai stati. Di là non ci siamo stati. Di qua no. So potentially this might be the end of the labyrinth. Possibly, yeah. Is this the end of the labyrinth then? Because yeah, I think yeah, I we think might have got to the to the exit part, but I believe yes, this is the end piece of the labyrinth. Yeah. And uh, yes, it was uh, it was good fun. 
Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Just get lost and you got lost a few times, yeah. but it was good to do it. It was yeah. good to get lost. There's a few in. moans from uh, yeah, from Mama, Mama as well along the way, but she persevered in yeah, the end, and, and we all made it to the, to the exit. along with us to a town that was transformed into an open-air museum, the art town of Gravellona Lomellina, and immerse yourself into the natural reserve nearby. See you guys there!